Good morning, Boot Camp Owls. Today we're going to talk about Vistaprint. You've probably seen a bunch of stuff around uh, the internet in terms of on Facebook for things like rack cards and um, scratch off cards, join me, my team, pads of papers, all kinds of stuff. And today we're going to tell you how to go get about getting those types of things for your business. And just to keep an idea of you only need a few things. You don't need everything that you're seeing out there. But let's get started. Here we are at Vistaprint.com. Now what you will need to do is go ahead and register for a free account. But I'm going to go ahead and show you logging in. And all I need to do is put in my password. And then simply sign in. Now once I get to the kind of the first dashboard, there's several things that I can do. It shows my portfolio on some things that I've been working on. And then it also shows view order history. You can reorder from here. There are several things you can do from this point of action. But what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to upload an image in order to get something to print. So the most active area that you'll probably use will be the look to under all products. Business cards, you will do a few, and I'll show you why here in a few minutes. But remember that your business cards for Origami Owl, your official ones, have to be ordered from FlyersDirect.com but I'll show you some things that we can do with the business cards. Again, we'll go to marketing materials. You can do your rack cards here, gift certificates, loyalty cards, postcards. There's a ton of stuff here that you'll use. Signs and banners. This is where one of the best places you can do uh, either some lawn signs or your banners for Origami Owl. There's just a plethora of things right here that you can choose from. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do a postcard. So we're going to go to Marketing Materials and then click on Postcards. Now there's two types of postcards that you always will get and one will either be a standard or an oversize. I'm going to stick with standard just because I can stick a postcard sized uh, stamp on it to be able to get out in the mail. And I'm going to click on Get Started for Browse Our Designs. Now even though I have a design that I'm going to upload, I still want to show you what this looks like. I'm going to X out of this portion right here. And as you scroll, you can see there's plenty of things that you can choose from should you not be able to have the ability to create documents of your own that you would like or to hire a graphic designer. Now I will point out, Origami Owl is really specific in their branding. And these particular owls, although very, very cute, really don't match the branding of Origami Owl. So I would try to avoid utilizing these particular owls. So anyway, we're going to scroll up. I happen to have a design that I already have developed. And so I'm going to click on Upload Your Design. Once to this page, I can choose my file. I can now go to where I have it located on the computer. And I'm going to do this file postcard. I'm going to click on Open, and it will upload. Now, while it's uploading, let me do State. Anything that you create for marketing materials for a Origami Owl, you will need to have approved by marketing. Simply send it in to marketing at origamiowl.com and you will be able to uh, get some feedback from them as to whether or not it needs to be changed or it's okay to go forward. Now, I've already received my okay on this. So, we've put it in here. It says my image resolution is acceptable. Sometimes it'll say excellent, but as long as it says acceptable, we're good to go. And we're going to click on next. Now, the back side, I have a couple of different uh, ways I can do this. I can either already upload a back side, or in this case, I just want to print this out specifically. So I'm going to click on back side, and I actually just want to have it blank. So I'm going to click on blank, and it's included in my price. I don't have to worry about it. I do recommend that if you do a backside, always do it in grayscale, just because you can avoid a $9.99 fee. And once I'm here, I'm going to click Next. And look, there's my postcard. Isn't it cool? And I need to check on here that I've read the statement above. It's basically your approval for online proof. And click Next going to ask me if they would like to mail me my postcards. No, thank you. 
click next again. And while it's churning and thinking, I'm going to show you a shortcut. Once I've decided how many I want, let's say I'm going to do 100 at $24.99. One more time, I need to click next. And again, if it's included, that's what I always go with. Once you get to this point, it's going to keep walking you through several steps just for recommendations. But here's the easy way to get by this. If you go up here to your cart, go ahead and click on the cart link itself and it'll take you directly to the site. Now, here's where if you've got any promotional codes you can apply them, uh, any Groupons, anything like that you can do. But typically it can be a really good deal. Now, once you sign up, you'll start to get emails that will allow you to get better deals than the $24.99. Often you can get a hundred of them for about $10. Here's my checklist for Vistaprint. You don't have to print everything in the kitchen sink that you see out there. I do recommend a rack cart if you do events. If you don't do events, don't do a rack cart. But if you do events, a rack cart is a great thing to have. The free charm card, it works on a business card. Remember earlier I said you can use the business cards, but not for our specific business cards. But in this case, a free charm card. I also have a scratch off card that I recommend. And then I do a join my team card. Now this particular card is in the free template, so it's even cheaper than a regular business card. I also highly recommend the raffle tickets so that I can gather information when I see people on the street or if I'm at an event. Uh, you can order a small origami owl banner. That's the one I recommend over the large. And then in the case of for my team, we happen to do a, a jewelry bar sign here, a yard sign to put in the yard, and it works really great. But unfortunately, if you're not on my team, it is a team exclusive that's been approved by marketing. The last thing I recommend are gift certificates. Again, this is with the free template, and make sure that anytime you utilize something like this, that not only marketing's approved it, but you're using the proper logo with it. And there are my items to order from Vistaprint. So now that you have a Vistaprint account and you know the types of things you need for your business, you can order away. Until then, we'll see you tomorrow for another day of boot camp. Bye-bye.